of the internet. I'm pity. Spike is over there somewhere. But we're gonna play some Crash Bandicoot because why not? I absolutely love this game. I grew up with these games. Um, my sister introduced me to these games actually, but I used to play them with my brothers as well. And I have, I have played a little bit of these already. I've played mostly the first one. Um, the first one's probably the one I've spent the most time with. I haven't played these two as much. So we're going to be playing the first game, um, and we're just going to have some fun with it and see what happens. Because why not? You guys might hear a little bit of um, noise in the background. There are other people here, and there is a severe weather warning out for all of Adelaide today. So there's a lot of wind. Oh, it looks so good. This bandicoot will be my general. Will lead my cortex commandos to world domination. This oh my god, they look so good. They have so much definition now. We are closer than ever before. Quickly into the vortex. <laughs> Dr. Cortex, <laughs> the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they would choose a bandicoot for an army, uh, especially Crash, but I guess whatever floats your boat. Failure again. Capture him. Uh oh. <laughs> Prepare the female bandicoot. Oh no, Torna! Loading, Insanity Beach. I love how there's so many end puns in these games, it's so good. It's I think it's because of Naughty Dog, because obviously Naughty Dog um, made the original game. Um, alongside. Um, yeah, we'll just skip Crash being silly. I didn't mean to actually skip him, but at least skip it anyway. <laughs> Uh, in case I do any weird stuff that you guys don't understand, um, the screen recording isn't exactly one-to-one, -one, so I might miss some things or jump at weird times. But it will be one-to-one -one for you guys, it just won't be one-to-one -one for me, because I'm recording through a capture device. Ooga booga! Uh, I love this dude. Okay, there's nothing there. Ah! Oh, it looks so good! I've, I still have the PlayStation 1 version of this, actually, and... Um, I was actually playing it not that long ago. I bought it from a, f I think I bought it from a flea market actually, which I was pretty lucky because I got a really nice copy of it. Um, copies of this game sell for like so much. Like the old, the original PlayStation One. I can't get up there. Um, the original PlayStation One one. They sell for like a hell of a lot of money. There we go. Finally got up there. Get my dude. Can get all the aki akis if we can. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll go for completionists, um, probably just more do it for fun rather than trying to get like all the boxes because I don't think I'm going to get all the boxes on all the levels let's be honest. It has been years since I actually got to like a, a sort of completionist side of this game, like I haven't finished this game, I don't think I finished this, I'm not sure if I finished this game when I was growing up, I think I did, I can't remember because it's been so damn long. But. I know I haven't finished the game since I bought my PlayStation 1 copy, so we are probably going to fail epically in some of the later levels just because it's been so long since I saw it and played some of the levels. I killed my dude! Oh, that was silly. I thought I still had the invincibility mask and then I ran straight into him and that was really dumb. Yeah, we've missed yeah, 10 boxes, which I know where they are and I'll actually I might show you guys. Hold on. Collect all those. Ha! Uh, spin! So if I don't. Ah! See, there's like a bridge thing, and on the other side, there's like a metal box, and you jump on it. I'm probably explaining this to a bunch of people who've actually played this game before. So, yeah, I don't know why. Alright, let's go. So, so fun! You know, not that bad, but yeah, remembering from the old game. But I know it gets freaking massive difficulty spikes later on, so that's probably where we're gonna start to fail pretty epically. Especially with like some of the, 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 oh, what do you call them? Like some of the, like, wall levels and stuff like that, they can be really, really challenging. 
Um, because I know I got stuck on one a while back. I think it was one of the the temple fortress wall levels I got stuck on. I don't think it was the first one. I think it was the second one that I got stuck on. And yeah, that can be. That this game is really good at giving you like crushing difficulty spikes and making you work really hard. So it can be a lot of fun. And we have to block TNT too if we want all the boxes. So oh, jump on it. Ah, right, come on, crash. I'm using the directional buttons just for an old school feel. Ha! Um, and because sometimes using the analog sticks I tend to like over jump and stuff like that. And I'm more used to the directional buttons, so I might just stick with the directional buttons at least for now. Um, maybe use the analog sticks for a certain part of the game later on. Spin! There we go. Go away! Ah! Uh, spin that. Oh, we got a token. Ah! Okay, I might just wait for these ones, just so we don't die horribly. Ah! Oh god. See, the, the, one, the weird thing about these masks is you used to have to, like, actually work really hard to get them, because they used to just sit there and you had to, like, jump up on top to get all of them. Oh god. Um, whereas now they just sort of, they're, like, an automatic thing? And it's kind of weird, but I kind of like it too, because it means I don't have to work so damn hard to get all the masks. <laughs> And you get to keep them too, which is really nice. Um, like between levels, you kind of get to keep the masks, which can be a nice bonus. Like you never, that never happened in the old games, I don't think. Um, not that I remember anyway. I think you had to, they reset between levels. I am, oh, how do we do this? No. I, yeah, no. I'm gonna die in a massive fiery death if I try and, ah! Uh, if I try and get that. Ugh. So we'll miss out on the extra life there, unfortunately. But, yeah. I think, yeah, we'll make it work. I don't think we need it. I think we'll be alright. Ah, bonus level! Love the bonus levels. The interesting thing about these two is because I've played a little bit of this game already, is you can actually try them as many times as you want. Whereas in the old game, you only got one shot, so if you died in the bonus level, you didn't get to go back and retry it. Um, whereas now you can just keep trying and keep trying to get all the boxes. And it's pretty nice. The troubling thing with that though is it makes you really determined to get all of the boxes in the bonus level and then you can just sit there for like half an hour trying to get all the boxes. Go away! Over there. Oh god, that was too close. Oh, we got some lives. Okay. Yeet. Oh, that was too close. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I mean, a couple of things where I probably would have died if I hadn't had Aku Aku. And we missed some boxes. The other thing is, in some of these levels, you've probably noticed, um, I think in that one there's like a green or red platform? I'm not sure. But you have to collect coloured gems in certain levels by going to like bonus areas, and then you can come back to levels to get the completionist. So some levels you can't actually complete the first time through, you actually have to come back and play it again to get all the boxes in all the levels. So yeah, this is the first wall level, which this is the one that's not too bad. I think it's the other one because there's like so many enemies and so much weird platforming. And because this game is so new, there's all this like weird depth and stuff going on. And I just get really confused sometimes. And then I end up dying in weird and horrible and wonderful ways. Yeah, this is one of the ones where I'm going to switch over to the analog sticks just to get around at first because... It does make it a lot easier for jumping on these boxes. Oh, they made it easier! There used to only be one box here. Hold X to bounce higher. Yes, we know. Jump. Ha, boink. Ha, boink. Go away. Okay. Ah, get that. Ah. Okay. Jump over you. Away you go. Okay. Wait for this one. Boink. Ah! Uh, I always mess this one up. Ugh. Okay, okay, now we go back to the analog six. Let's get over this bit. Because this bit's fairly easy if you can platform like a decent human being. Um, which a lot of the time I can't. <laughs> oh god, no. I failed. See, I can't platform like a decent human being. There you go, you know something new about me. They have made this part easier too, because there used to only be one box for going the whole way up. Well, now there's two boxes right there, and then there's one box. 
And I keep failing to hit that one box. Okay. Get the checkpoint. Uh, boy. Okay, well that worked. I wasn't expecting- Ah, oh, I shouldn't have spun you! Oh well. We're gonna miss that box. Okay, wait for the spiky thing. Uh, wait for the spiky thing. Wait for the spiky thing. Don't die crash in a stupid way. Okay. Let's get another token, that's good. Ah, oh, I hate these guys. You gotta just- it's timing. Oh god. That was nearly straight off the edge right there. Ah, eh. Nope. Ah, boink. Uh. Oh, we got a life. Very nice. Okay. Uh. There used to be a checkpoint right here, if I remember correctly, in the old game. Um. I wonder how many people are watching that have actually done a bit of this game before, or like mad pro at it. Um. Comment down below if you uh, are a crash fan and you've played um, this original game before. Oh god. Oh god. Woo. Woo. That was too close. Ah. Okay. I should have jumped a bit later. Okay. Bonus level. That's good. I should have probably taken my time on the, on the jump there. Oh god. Ah. Okay. We'll jump on that one. Uh. Oh god! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have spun. I should have just tried to just try jump on that. Okay, let's try again. That's not that hard. It's just about getting in the right spot, I think. Okay, keep going. Oh, two lives! That's so nice of you! Okay, let's go. Wait for the spiky thing, then wait for the spiky thing, and then ah! See there's a gem platform, so we need the gem for this level too. Yeah. I think that's the clear gem. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I need nine. Okay. That's not so bad. I mean, I've had levels where I've missed like a lot more than that. So, definitely need to keep an eye out for getting the gems. Well, I'm not sure... I don't think I've ever done like a 100% completionist playthrough of this game, so I'm not sure where all the gems are, if I'm being honest. Oh, these levels! I love these levels and I hate them at the same time. Okay, so I'm guessing you guys can probably figure this out by the name, but as we run along, we're going to get chased by a massive boulder. And that's fun. So, let's go. Get all the boxes. Okay, let's go. We can do this crash. Ah! Oh, they always sneak up on me. Oh, don't spin that one. No! I, how did I roll? Okay, that was weird. I don't know how I rolled there. Let's, okay, let's go. I guess as long as we get all the boxes, or at least try to get all the- oh god, oh god. At least try to get all the boxes? I guess that's what matters? Oh god. Oh god, uh. Oh god, I got flattened. <laughs> I was too focused on trying to get the boxes. <laughs> okay, maybe I switch to the analog stick for this one because I think I need the maneuverability a bit more. Let's give, let's give it a go. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at his little face, he looks terrified. <laughs> I'd be terrified too if I was being chased by a boulder, to be fair. Get up there, crash. Jump on that box. Okay. Uh, jumping over all the holes. Uh, I hate jumping over the things. Oh god. I uh, don't care about the wampers. Just get the boxes and run. Okay, we made it. And we're gonna check mine. That's wonderful. Okay. Now I remember this as being the hard part, so let's go. Oh god, this is a hard part. Oh, I'm all over the place. Come on, crash. I spun on one 
far away. That was rude. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Ah, I got the gem! Yeah! We got all the boxes! The gem is when you get all the boxes. So that's pretty nice. Because there's the gem and the key, which I'm not sure what that does. And then there's the time trial relic thing that you can get at each level. So like I said, not a completionist playthrough, but, you know, you could still have some fun with it. Try and get all the boxes in some of the levels at least, because I know the boulders one is fairly, usually fairly easy to get all the boxes as long as you know what the fuck you're doing. Okay, upstream. I think depending on time depends on how many levels I do in this particular playthrough. Um... Because we might do, um, like a boss per episode, or something like that. Um, see how we go. Depends on how long some of the levels take me, because I know some of the levels are ridiculously hard. Okay, back to directional buttons, I think. Ah, oh, the piranhas! Or whatever they are. Haha, <laughs> 69! Giggity! <laughs> uh, oh god. Okay, don't fall off there, Crash. Okay, we haven't actually died yet, which is surprising. Oh no, we died once, I lied. We haven't died that many times, which is kind of surprising for me, because I usually end up dying, like, horribly. Even in the, like, early levels, because I just do stupid things. <laughs> okay, checkpoint. Ah! Okay, ooh, a life. Oh, the piranha plant things. They have them in the water, too. Oh god. Oh. Yep. Okay, wait for the fish. Because I don't want to get eaten. They actually make a noise now, which is weird, because I don't think they made a noise in the original game. But it's kind of funny, too, because they made this, like, ah! I was too busy not focusing. Um, but yeah, they never used to make a noise in the original game, I don't think. So, that's kind of weird. Oh god. Ah! Uh, uh, fucking focus, pity. Ha! Ah! Okay. Ah! Ah, uh. oh, these are the timed ones. These are the stupid ones. Okay. Oh yeah, wait, we need the gem for this level too! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Whoopsies! <laughs> that was dumb. Oh, uh, that was a bit silly. I just jumped the weird and then fell down. Oh shit. They'll come in handy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, don't fall and die right at the end. Okay, we got out. I only missed three boxes. I don't know where those three boxes were. I'm assuming that has something to do with the gems. But I, I guess we'll find out at some point. Maybe I'll do a thing where if I find the colored gem somehow then I'll go through and like we'll do all the bonus stuff and see if I can find all the boxes. Maybe we'll do that too. Just for fun. See how we go. Well, I'm not sure how many episodes of this I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll just play through the whole game. Um, maybe, yeah. That would be fun. I'd like to play through all three games eventually, so I might just end up doing a whole like Crash Bandicoot marathon series kind of thing. But I guess we'll see. Oh, this guy. God, oh, this looks so pretty compared to how it looks on PlayStation. Don't hit me. Oh! <laughs> okay. 
I remember I have to jump on this guy. Boink. Oh. This guy's not too difficult for a boss. You just gotta like avoid his attacks and then jump on him, and it's pretty easy. Ah! Uh, okay. Oh, don't die. Okay. <laughs> a piece out! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And then he jumps through the roof. Crash, why are you destroying this poor man's home? That's so rude of you. Ah, uh, loading screens. Okay. What? Who is time machine? That's so cool! I forgot it. You never used to be able to do this in the old game. Um, but this is pretty cool. I can switch to Coco now. That's awesome! Ah, oh, that's so cool. I think I'll probably stick to playing as Crash because I don't think Coco did, I don't think Coco got any levels in the first game. Um, and as much as I love Coco, um, and I'm guessing by the fact that you can change into Coco now, is that she's got the same stuff as Crash, which would be pretty cool. Because the reason why you can never play her before in different levels is because she had totally different powers to Crash, and she didn't get all the same stuff too. Um, so I'm guessing she'd probably have the same stuff as Crash. Which is pretty cool. So, thank you for watching, guys. Um, leave us a comment down below. To tell me what I did well and what I did horribly. And leave me suggestions if you've got any ideas of what I should play next. Or if you want to see more of my um, Crash Bandicoot shenanigans. <laughs> Till then, we'll see you in the next video.